and in this part we're gonna deal with filtering in Dynamo for example consider this sample file of Revit here for these walls I consider the value here in file rating 20 I specified some values for example 20, 25, 60 or so on but right now I'm gonna filter the walls based on the value of file rating and then set colors actually the same thing which we do in view tab and filter and then we add the filter here in which we could set the colors and the elements and so on based on the filtering anyway to do this um, from Revit again elements and then here family filter let's find it so I search filter again I want to consider Revit in the filters so here uh, filters in view part so let's find it here in view we got different kinds of filter items for example here at filter actually not this I got it wrong here in filter it should be here that was used for the views anyway here in filter we got filter rule and override graphic settings as well and parameter filter element and rule type here in filter rule I add by rule type or here at the below part rule type select rule type you can specify the rule type uh, I remove this for now and then here in parameter filter element in this way or in override graphic settings here by properties detail level and stuff like that I remove this and this as well and then we will work on them one by one here I search in the search, uh, search box from Revit elements parameter let me find it here parameter and then here the item parameter, parameter by name let me find it I click actually not this parameter by name here it is to specify name I add an string and then I specify the parameter fire rating in this way then I give it to name and for the element categories I specify walls I open some space all elements of category all elements of categories in this way and then I specify element right now uh, I got the walls but all of them are null let me see we specify the elements let me do something I want to search for element that type to specify the type of the wall and here we use the package of ArchLab in this way to specify actually this is warning element I remove it element type let me check these items I keep the type and then I set the uh, filter on ArchLab well actually here elements that type I give the element check this out and then I specify element check it out let me see let me remove the S it's okay but let me try with this so element type is okay so I give the element type to parameter by name so right now we just had to specify the type of the parameter which is fire rating anyway right now in filter Revit filter and then filter role by role type in this way here we should specify parameter but here we cannot specify it with the string for example if I connect it to this it is not allowed here or accepted so here if I add select role type I specify contains and I specify contains for type and then for value for example I consider 16 in code block look it is not accepted here because here we should specify a parameter not a string so if I give the parameter check this out 
I give the parameter check this out well done but here I recommend you to use a string instead of code block and then consider the string as an input in case to change the values with the dynamo player whenever you want and at that time there's no need to run it with the dynamo and you can use the script in your all of your projects for example I consider this as an input and to make it easier you can rename your notes for example in parentheses or I remove all of them and I consider choosing category for example and I rename the string parameter name in this way and accept and the other one the value and I recommend you in these strings which you wanna specify the value I recommend you to mention this string to just specify that this value is for a text so here I specify or define in the parenthesis string that the value which we specified is an string not a number in continue for creating it here from parameter filter element and then I add by rule right now I specify rule with a filter rule and after that I specify the category or walls actually and then in continue for specify name I add a string and then for example I rename this as filter name and then I specify the filter name for example here for example I specify fire rating fr a space underscore and a value for example this or actually for example I can add a plus here in this way and then here I want to add another string in this way and then I specify this let me see so here I specify fr space dash space as x and then I consider 60 as y is input right now check this out in this way so right now any changes will be applied here so I consider this as the name so check this out parameter filter element I save it and after that in Revit filter here check this out fr-60 as you can see we have created a filter fr space dash 60 anyway I close this in dynamo in this way and in continue I'm going to tell you that um, which view we want to apply this on so here in uh, override graphic settings here I add by properties and and uh, let me see what we got here I remove this from view here and then here let me see filter overrides actually not this let me check the other items for example set category overrides not this actually I'm looking for let me check these actually here it is set filter overrides I created one of the advantages of filtering in Revit is that you should do this to each of the views I mean you have to set the changes again on each view one by one but here in Dynamo I mean you should create the template and then share it to other views but here in Dynamo we can apply the settings on whatever views we want anyway here I should specify views so I search for views in this way for example I consider 3d and then I specify it in this way here the next is parameter filter so I specify it by parameter filter element then in continue overrides in this way so in this way I apply the settings and here I can choose to hide the filter or, or show it right now wait for the filters to be applied well uh, I back in I search for bool and then I change this to manual and then I set true to hide the filter 
run so just wait for a second in this way again I go back to Dynamo actually right now we are on a 3D view I set false to show the filter it's probably on inner walls in continue I specify the color to find it so in continue here in override graphic settings so here we got cut fill color I want to add color palette to specify the cut fill color in this way and then I specify the color for example orange then in continue projection fill color I make a copy actually you want to specify it with the same color and for cut line color I consider for example blue and blue in continue for projection line color as well here I search for fill patterns to specify cut fill patterns I specify solid fill and the same for projection fill pattern and then I search for line pattern for cut line pattern here line patterns let me find dash and then I specify cut line pattern and projection line pattern I set dash in 3d as well then in continue I add a number slider for cut line weight actually integer I consider one in this way and then for transparency I add a number slider let me see actually we should specify this something between 1 to 100 right now I consider 1 and for projection line weight in this way the next is detail level so I just search for detail level here I specify the detail level for the view for example I specify coarse and then for half tone I add boolean the default is true so I set false in this way and unsave and then run so wait for a result here you don't have to fill all of these you just want you just have to fill uh, each one you want but here I specify all of them for you to observe well let me check these if they are hidden or not I'm in hidden I go back to dynamo actually here the height is on false let me check plans so here I change the view on one entry level let me put aside the dynamo to check these run look in this way it is shown here and actually in 3d actually I fixed the height by ch ch changing the true false wait for a second to open 3d and again I change views to 3d in this way run in this way check this out here we set orange on all of the walls which got this capability but here I change the transparency I define 4T to make it more transparent wait for a second and actually this increases your speed in your projects for example here in visibility graphic and then in filter as you can see all of the specified fields are applied here check this out which is really really valuable for us but here you can apply this to other elements